going back to the cryptocurrency uh, investors um, and what they would think of the uh, uh, treasury essentially coming in and printing money to kind of trust me, there's memes all over bridge the gap. Yes, the I'm me sure. The meme is yeah. <laughs> machine go <laughs> and it's like BRR. Like yeah. like a cold yeah. it says machine go boom. Yeah, right. The memes are cold. always so simple and I know. stupid. Yeah, and that's what this one. And is. the I, and the answer is never that simple. Mm. That's but that's that's yeah. The, the, especially Twitter, it's very yes no black white sure uh, medium mm -hmm. right. You only have so many characters, so you yeah. got to be as short, succinct, yeah. and mean and dumb about it as possible. And how many answers on, on anything are ever really yes or no? It's always somewhere in the middle. Machine go boom. Yeah, right. This is why Bitcoin was invented. Do you mm -hmm. do you, do you have a do you have a changed opinion on cryptocurrencies? A changed opinion. So uh, since we last talked about it, we talked about it when they first came out. And you weren't too high on them. Um, I'm not sure. You've you've you said to me over the years like, yeah, you know, there's a, there's a new. I think you told me once that there's some division or there's some. Um, I don't know some kind of asset uh, class or uh, futures that those are out now in cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some more legitimacy to them. There's more institutionalization right. of right. them. Uh, I I don't think you're talking with your clients about them at any point. But I mean, do you see that coming? Do you see this is an interesting place for cryptocurrency when we're having all this uh, potential inflation? That's what they're saying. Right. So. Uh, Cryptocurrencies fall in, into what is considered a speculative asset class. And I don't label it that as a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this is a bunch of you know, hot air speculation. Um, it's speculative because um, it's new, meaning there's not a lot of history to base decisions off of. Mm -hmm. um, the market has been relatively small. Um, yes. It's, it's gotten bigger. Um, but there's all of these kind of um, parameters on it that that make it not a major uh, financial instrument. So the size, mm -hmm. n not just the fact that it's not, when I hear speculation, I think, like if you speculate on a company, it's like, right. oh, one day it's going to be this. Yeah. And that's true for a lot of cryptocurrencies. One day yeah. we'll use it to buy things, right. but we're not doing that now. I would say Bitcoin isn't, maybe it is speculative by the parameters you mentioned, right. by the, uh, the, the way you describe it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's serving a purpose of a store of value that isn't necessarily speculative anymore. There is some function there, but and that's that's the argument. Ethereum too, actually, where it's similar to to, to to gold, and gold's always been historically has been a store of value. Yeah. Um, so gold uh, in the past few weeks has has held up because you know people rushed into gold because uh, everything's going haywire. Yeah, Even yeah. The bond yeah. market's going haywire. I'm going to keep my money in gold, because, I'm a, I'm a, and that really bids up the price of gold. Precious metals, that's sort of the thing people talk about when, when things are going bad. Um, but keep talking about cryptocurrency a little bit. You were saying this is what we consider a speculative asset. Do you have any more to add to that? Yeah, so, so if you were to think about your portfolio strategy, you know, how much of your portfolio should you have in, say, quote, speculative mm -hmm. assets, uh, it would be a smaller percentage. Uh, and I'm talking to the guy who's a, kind of a cryptocurrency um, uh, no, I'm nobody. I'm just the host. <laughs> I just ask the questions. You're the star. Uh, so uh, for me, as a as a professional advisor, uh, advising clients, prudence is what's uh, what really guides my my decision making, and so. Um, as people, a, people appreciate that. As they? a prudent investor, uh, looking at something like cryptocurrencies, um, it could it could turn out to be something more like gold has historically been mm -hmm. uh, uh, as a role in the portfolio. But until then, um, it's it's going to be more in that speculative category where it really needs to be a smaller slice of your portfolio. And when you say smaller, what do you mean? One percent, ten percent, less than ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, have you had a single client in the last, over the recent years say, hey, what about that? What about Bitcoin? Uh, I've had clients who have uh, ventured on their own to pursue uh, cryptocurrency. Okay. Um, and 
us together know how that fits into the I see the the, the broader strategy. Um, uh, it's not hasn't been dissimilar. And this is just you know my clients who I'm talking about, but it yeah. hasn't been dissimilar to those who um, really are interested in in pursuing individual stocks. I see, but they don't want to do what the majority of their portfolio. So they might carve off a, just a little piece and say, this is the account that I uh -huh. want to, you know, buy and sell some stocks in. Yeah. 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 You know, this is a, you know, the small slice where I'm going to buy and sell currencies in cryptocurrencies. Like. So you wouldn't, so, so it sounds like based on your view, your definition, your outlook on finances, you don't look at them as good or bad or ugly. You no. just see them as something speculative. So be very careful and only use a small amount of your money. Right. As of as today, twenty twenty, right? It, you know, one, three, five, ten years from now, they could have a different role in the portfolio. So you might even encourage them to check them out. No, not quite that far. Only if you're interested in it, and okay. and similar to, to individual stocks, um, if if you have the uh, the interest and the aptitude to want to really dive into the research. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Well. It's it's pretty exciting, yeah, actually. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will jump into this interview mm -hmm. as a as a as a personality of my own and, and say it's pretty exciting. I told you I I bought a car. Right. And I borrowed. I took out a loan against. And I got the money the very same day, right? Like to get the cash. Like that's that's the centralized finance. It's called right. DeFi for short. Yeah. And. Um, I mean, I didn't know how, and I knew I had to get a car. Remember, I was getting a car. I had to get a car. Because my car went, it, it, it blew up, right? I sure. had to get a car immediately. And so I needed to like find a way to get cash immediately mm -hmm. because I don't think I'm going to be able to buy a car with cryptocurrency or whatever. Right. So I could use cryptocurrency as a collateral. Right. And now it's, you're the first person that I had talked to that actually had actually done that. And it was, I was really happy to hear how, how easy it was to actually go through with it. Yeah. Because that's, that, that's, that's one thing is like, you know, in concept things or in theory things can be a certain way which cryptocurrency kind of had been you know looking back years yeah. but now it's, it's turning into more of a practical you, you can actually use it it needed value it needed value mm -hmm. like how do you add something how do you add value to something that's right. nothing right. Like, like, like physically nothing yeah it's just public interest right. the same reason a work of art is suddenly worth way more than that worth work of art there was a, there was adequate interest which is so crazy all it is is faith and interest and that, I, that, 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 that determines the value of something that's not tangible but it's it's the way it is um and so because there is value then they can loan against it and i think that's actually important to talk about is uh the reason it has value is because someone else thinks it has value meaning there's two sides to the trade someone's willing to mm -hmm. buy it and sell it mm -hmm. um things without um um, inherent value in, in, yeah, in themselves. Right. Um, it, it, gold falls it, it, in this camp too. You know, yeah. gold is worth a certain amount of ounce, but someone's willing to buy it. Right. Uh, and it, that's different than, than say a stock or a bond because a stock or a bond has income tied to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, a bond has interest payments, uh, and a stock has dividends or you know the growth of the the, the revenue of the company. Yeah. So um, that that is an important distinction between those two. But that's. That doesn't mean they're better investments. Warren Buffett no. would probably say that they are better investments because of that. But I think that's traditional thinking that will one day be not just traditional, but mm, not wrong, but there's other thinking that's true too. Mm -hmm. uh, things that don't have, they're not tangible, they don't have utility in their own, like a hammer, right. uh, but there's still value to them. Like right. the value, because it's a utility value, uh, not because I can hit something with it, but because it's useful in, in, in obtaining money, mm -hmm. like the way I was able to get it. it it's a speeding up of finance, right? The internet speeds up communication, cryptocurrency and blockchain speeds up finance. Well, it's the same way with any currency. Uh, you know, the reason the US dollar is worth what it is, well, yeah. the, you know, the US Treasury has a, has you know gold, some gold to back it up, not gold standard, but mm -hmm. um, uh, because other markets around the world, everyone can yeah. have agrees uh, agrees on, on on an exchange rate. That's right. That's um, right. Yeah. You know we're 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 not going back to the to the barter system mm -hmm. where uh, you know mm -hmm. you have a good or service, not a good or service, and we'll exchange. Yeah. 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 There yeah. still has to be some sort of medium, and whether that's U.S. dollars or Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh.